How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reapers. And we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I'd know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard? Kate? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major. You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. It's not like you learned the Reapers were coming and didn't tell me. I suppose you're right. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, 
It's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... there must be some way. Each of us has to be willing to die to save humanity. Anything less, and they've already won. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Ma Come on, Shepard. Caden's headed to the Norman. They'll pick us up if we can get to the space. Let's move. Look out! How do you stop something so powerful? Take a running jump. 
It's farther than it looks. Come on, let's go. Come on. We'll have to go this way. Looks clear. Let's go. Major, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with you. We're taking heavy fire. Husk, take him out. Find a way out of here. Watch it! <clears throat> Through this way. Someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. You're not responsible for the ones that die. We fight for the ones left standing when it's all over. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <clears throat> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. You sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Reload, let's keep moving.
Keep your head down. Get in cover! <laughs> nice shot. was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on. Let's get to that gunship. This is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major! Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company.
hope they get there soon. You and me both. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species, and all their ships, to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard.
What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. He can see what's going on. Without help, this war's already over. Then you can drop me off at the nearest depot, because I'm not leaving. We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker, that you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. Shepard, same heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to unite our post on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Prothean archives with Dr. Tassoni. We haven't found a way to stop the Reapers. The only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. This is loco. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. No contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood.
Alliance. Sarge. Up a fight before he died. You don't trust Cerberus? Fine. But I'm done explaining myself to you. Are we clear? 
clear? Perfectly. I didn't mean to. Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the Goddess you're alive. Liara. I was worried when the reports came in. They hit Earth hard? Yeah. It was hard to leave like that. Caden, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here on Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a Shadow Broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the Archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you, but... I was under house arrest. There wasn't much I could do to help you anyway. I suppose you're right. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. Sounds like this weapon might be our best chance to blow the Reapers to hell. It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. We've got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the ship. If Cerberus beats us to the archives, I need you covering the exits. But... Now, Lieutenant. I hear them. We should take cover. Looks like they found us.
Let's find a way up. How'd Cerberus get into the facility? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even re realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. Let me try. No. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Eva Corre. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. Flash 
flight. What's our order? There's an alliance force in here somewhere. We need to keep them away from the core. Take the next one. It's not good. What do you feel going on? Now, nonetheless, you want to take a practice for him, too. I don't see anyone. Come on, there's no one alive in there. Let's not get this far. Need to pressurize the room first. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, there's a recording of what happened here. Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as you... I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. You did what needed to be done. Right now, I need you to get us to the Archives. Through the door. We're getting close. Nice. Let's move. They just activated the decontamination protocols. With the staff still inside.
they studied the various relics unearthed here. What did they find? More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data troves that have never been studied. That's the tramline. Takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. Looks like they've made it to the archives. And I doubt they'll just send us a tram. Can you override? The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not if we can find a short-range communicator, helmet to helmet. And? And we convince them that we're on their side. Tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Major has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... My god. Looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? How can you compare me to him? Shepard, I don't know what you are, or who. Not since Cerberus rebuilt you. For all I know, you could be their puppet. Controlled by the elusive man himself. That's not fair, Kate. Don't try to explain it. I don't think I'd understand anyway. I just want to know, is the person that I followed to Helen back still in there? Somewhere? Cerberus brought me back to do one thing. Stop the Reapers. You can join me or you can leave. But you've got to make up your mind. I'm with you. Good to hear it. Come on, let's see what Cerberus is up to. Maybe we'll both get some answers. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell are you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo Team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position, flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. Okay. 
Will do! Got it! Right away! Shepherd. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control. 
to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard. And I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool. An agent with a singular purpose. In that, you were successful. But like the rest of the rebels in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey! Step away from the console! Now! She's got the data. She's faster than she looks. Stay close. We can't lose her. Dispose of him. No!
Caden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Commander. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Major Olenko was critically injured. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Commander. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Major Olenko? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. 
Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. Ma'am, I can't say when we're deploying or where. What's going on here? Commander. Just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience. But that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all Council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room. And this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. First deployment is somewhere near Palavan. Or say not to deploy on comms. I'll leave vid messages and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. So how am I supposed to talk with you then? Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSAC personnel for routine verification. That's all. Please speak with me again if you... Shepard, please select a one moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Welcome to Serta. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Thank you for shopping. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Woods, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. 
I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's medbay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Incursions by enemy forces are being located. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I made physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the... We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Command. Ilium is under attack. Normally assigning colonies across the galaxy. Vision state for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freyluck. Arrow's flint is still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required stracial bindings. Meet you back here. The council called the invaders. Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to incoming Reaper forces. Hey, Caden. I don't know if you can hear me, but since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm going to take my chances. Get your ass out of this bed and back to your post, Major. Seeing you in action again, it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. you need anything, Doc, let me know. Come on, Kate. Fight. And that's an order. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osoba. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. 
You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking Bay E24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> If that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. Councillor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any Council homeworld. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tatrus. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. True, but in the end we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors. we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? 
After what you've seen of the Reapers? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander, I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Palavin's Primarch Fedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the Summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... The Reapers are tearing us apart and you want to make a deal? I'm trying to help you, Commander. The Summit leaders set our war strategy, and this Council is beholden to their decision. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. Your Counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. <laughs> Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks.
Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard. Kalisa Bint seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? The same thing I've been doing for the past three years. Find a way to stop the Reapers. Get some help, Kalisa. I have work to do. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select one moment, please. Arriving at docking bay D24. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? Just shaking off some sleep. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? 
We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. 
But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Commander. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios! Straight to business without even a hello? You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. From my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking. 
flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The Collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up the good work. Yes, Commander. Hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <clears throat> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> you down here for a reason? <clears throat> just came down to talk. <clears throat> Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Yes, I can, Lieutenant. You pulling rank on me, boss? We're just soldiers down here, no? Sure. But this soldier will clean the floor with you if you step out of line. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch. 
but a good leader. <clears throat> nice. <clears throat> what do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You a shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe... <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. <clears throat> Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey, thanks for the dance, Loco. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget.
Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Your system is still detecting the implants as foreign bodies. There's no health risk, but your scars are having trouble healing. I recommend reducing stress levels. Be compassionate. I'm giving everything I got, Doc. I'm just saying, a little more optimism and a little less realism could help, Commander. Anyway, it's just a cosmetic issue. Nothing to worry about. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. You know, I was hoping this new council would be a little more helpful than the last one. The meeting was less than ideal. Yeah, I'm shocked. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. I like it. I'm flattered. I think. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. We can figure out what it does later. Our priority is getting it built. Just give me some warning before you flip the switch. 
People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. There's still a lot of people alive down there. I have to remember that. You will. It's the war we've warned everyone about for years. And if I know you, Shepard, you'll make them proud. Hello again, Shepard. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although, I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high-tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Please, enjoy your day. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny Mass Effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay. Yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying, but I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources. 
and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. How'd you end up in the military, anyway? My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive, and counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. Commander? Commander? Thank you. 